Relations between Singapore and France, which go back a long way, are in excellent shape and on an upward trajectory, Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong said. Speaking to about 200 overseas Singaporeans at a reception at Hotel Le Mirois on April 11, DPM Wong noted that France was one of the first countries to recognize Singapore as an independent country back in 1965. Over the decades, both have built close and very strong cooperation across a broad range of areas. For example, France is the only European Union EU member state with which Singapore has a strategic partnership. Singapore is also the only non-NATO country to have a military presence in France. This illustrates the depth of our relationship, the trust that has been built at very high levels between the two governments and our ability to work together in many different areas. He said, Singapore and France will commemorate the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations in 2025. The people-to-people -people ties between both countries are deep and growing. There is a significant French presence in Singapore, including French companies, culture, culinary delights and luxury brands. The same is true the other way, DPM Wong noted. We are quite small, but still, the Singapore presence here is visible and it is thriving and growing. And it's represented by all of you, he said, adding that they are ambassadors on the ground. A case in point is Singapore born, Paris based fashion designer Andrew Gian, who was at the reception. The 60 year old, who moved to Paris in 1992, retired in December 2023. He said he intends to spend more time in Singapore, working with the museums to build the design culture. Singapore is a combination of modern architecture and nature, Mr. Gian said. Obviously, I miss my saute, loxa and chicken rice, but what I miss most is the sense of security and safety. National University of Singapore NUS fourth year computing engineering undergraduate Vignesh Kumaravel, 24, arrived in Paris in March for a six month internship with a French virtual reality startup. Uptail. He is also trying to learn the French language to adjust to his new environment. I shared with DPM Wong that it is important for students like me to learn more working languages in the world to do well globally. He said. Miss Lo Wan Chi, an urban studies graduate from Yale NUS College, is into her first year studying for her master's degree in digital and tech policy at Sciences Po University in Paris. The 23-year-old said, the EU has very interesting and forward-looking artificial intelligence, eye governance policies. I wish to share with DPM Wong on how Singapore and EU can collaborate on AI governance. At the reception, Singapore cuisine, such as chicken rice and saute, was served and quickly snapped up. DPM Wong said it is good to be back in Paris, and even better to be at a gathering with so many Singaporeans where they can enjoy one another's company and embrace our Singapore Kambang spirit. I am grateful that some of you travelled long distances to come here to Paris. Not all of you are based here, he said. I'm quite sure the draw is not me, it's chicken rice. I don't feel offended. That's fine. Food brings us together, he quipped, making everyone laugh. DPM Wong is in France from April 10 to 13 for his first visit to Europe in his current capacity as Deputy Prime Minister. He called on French President Emmanuel Macron after a reception on April 11 and will be meeting ministers of the economy, finance, industrial and digital sovereignty Bruno Lumaire on April 12. On April 10, he attended the opening of Singapore headquartered global investment company Temasek's office in Paris. DPM Wong had earlier visited Berlin from April 8 to 10, where he called on German President Frank-Walter Steinmeier and Chancellor Olaf Scholz. 
He also met Vice Chancellor and Economy Minister Robert Hobag and Finance Minister Christian Lindner, as well as German industry leaders, and attended a reception with overseas Singaporeans in Germany.